Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we displayed here in the table the categories. We have the global search. Also here we have this I, we can hide the column. We can hide only the slug because the name I uh, set that can be hidden the folds. We have pagination and per page here. Everything works okay. The same thing we have post, global search, this to show and hide the columns, the title, display the title and the slug, which has also the sort table, title, per page and the pagination. Okay, everything works okay. Now in this video I want, because in the with this we had, if you go to the display documentation, the table component, we used the built-in query builder. And in this video now I want to show you also the spotty query builder, how we can do that. And if you go here, we have an example. First, we need to install the query builder, but also I want to, in the post, I want to filter the post by category because the post belongs to category. And then also I want to add the edit button to the table. Also the same for the category, start the edit button here. So let's start. Let's first, let's install the package so Laravel Query Builder and if you go to the spot in Laravel Query Builder here installation we need to add to run this composer require spot in Laravel dash query dash builder so let's copy that and let's navigate here open the terminal and let's run this command okay then you can go to the features which has filtering so how we can filter them allow filters an array and we this is the url sorting include the relationship so allow sorts we need to add allow sorts for the name and so on default sort so let's start let's navigate in here and let's copy this global search and what i'm going to do i'm going to open my controllers and the category controller is going to remain as it is so here we are going to use the built-in query builder in the post controller let's change so i'm going to add the global search and we need to import this load filters and also the collection which is the illuminate support collection and here we are in the post so the query is going to search for where the title is going to be like the value or the slug. So the global search is going to search in the title, also in the slug, and if we want also in the description. But I'm going to leave only the title and the slug. Then let's create the post variable I'm going to say dollar sign post is going to be equal with query builder query builder from spotty and make sure you import that up here and this is going to be for the post class okay like this and then first we need to add the default sort so let's yeah, we have the, the default sort and let's copy this and add it inside here. Now the default sort is going to be for the title. Allow it sort is going to be the title. The slug, let's also add the slug here to sort and not the language code. For now, let's remove this. And here also remove this so this is going to be allowed filters for title and the slack then we return the post split table for not post class anymore but for the dollar sign post here very good column title can be hidden to false and sort table to true and let's add the sort table to true also in the slack 
because we say allow a source for title and Slack in the query builder. We add the paginate by five by default. We can remove this because it's default. And I think we are okay now. Let's just save as it is right now and let's navigate. Refresh the post. Yeah, we have the same thing. We have also the Slack sortable and by default is 50 per page. We can change the 10 per page if we want. So let's come here and let's say 10. Yeah, now it's 10 per page. Or if you like only five, uh, five to start from five, that's is okay. This we had before. Anyway, now we have the global search, so let's search for this one. And right now it's going to search also the Slack, on, not only the title. So as you can see, we have this string in the in the Slack here and in the title here and here. Very good. So the global search work and the pagination works Every and this one works okay good now let's add the filter the filter by category for posts and let's navigate in here what i'm going to do i'm going to say here in the hello the filters also to add the category id category id and i had a comment in my video in the previous video how we can filter them so by category and i'm going to do that filter by category and we can add also the select filter in here so let's say select filter for category id and here now we need to add an array of options but what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here and get that array. So first I'm going to say categories. I'm going to create a categories variable, which is going to be equal with category model. And I'm going to look only the uh, name and ID. And I'm going to say to array and add these categories in here. And let's save. And if, if I refresh now, yeah, as you can see, we have a filter here. And right now it's not filtering, but if I filter for this one, and by default, if I open the table plus, all the uh, post has the category ID one. So go to the split, open, and post. As you can see, the post has the category one to all of them. Good. Now, I think the category with ID one is this one, Ashley. So if I select this one, yeah, we have all the categories. 10 of them, as you can see here, 10 results. But if I filter by the second one, we don't have any. So let's change uh, the post. So this one I'm going to say has the category two and refresh now. Let's reset and the category with ID two Let's see who is who has the category to the Rosanna Nicolaus. So let's select that Rosanna Nicolaus. And yeah, we have only one. So the uh, filters works. OK, let's reset. And now let's add here the edit button. To do that, we need to go in here when we add a column and we need to add one more column. So let's say column, which is going to be an action column. 
And right now, if I save, nothing is going to happen. So let's come here. We have an action, but we need to add the link here to go to the edit page. And if I open the web roads, we have a road resource for categories and for the posts. So we are okay. Now, what we need to do to add this that link is to go inside the resources, uh, use, and in the post, we have this index, and here we have the X split table inside of here. Now, instead of self closing, we need to close like this, and inside, we need to add that cell. So let's say, cell for the action and here is going to receive the post the assigned post and inside here that let's use the link which is going to be slash wrote post show and add the post id and let's add what the This is going to suggest us, and let's say edit, and let's close the link, and let's also end the cell. If I save as it is right now, and let's open the browser and refresh, you can see we have this edit, and it's going to navigate in the slash post to post for, and so on. Very good. But let's just change the class because I don't like it like this. So instead of something like this, I'm going to say text to be a, a blue or a green 600. And on hover, is going to be text green 400 and let's say also font to be semi bold like this let's save and come here and refresh and yeah we have something like this and Now, if I click here, the show does not exist. We don't need to navigate to the road post show, but post edit and refresh again. And now if I, yeah, we have post edit. Very good. And let's do the same for the uh, category. So I'm going to copy this and navigate in the categories index let's close like this the table and paste that in but instead of post this is going to receive the category and say categories edit and add here the category id and let's save also we need to open that controller because we need to add some category controller and add a column because right now if we don't add the column it's not going to work so let's save as it is right now and let's navigate in categories refresh yeah we don't see that so we need to add a column for action and refresh and now we have the action which is going to navigate the categories one edit categories two edit and so on okay friends so that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best